All right, what's up? What's up, beautiful people? Ride jams the morning after. Uh, last night was the first of four. It is holiday event season here in New York, and all those companies are having their uh, Christmas parties and their holiday parties, and they need music to dance to, and that's where we come in. So last night was in the city, and I took the train, but I still had my ride jams. I have my old school 120 gig iPod. Laugh if you like, judge if you like. This thing still works, okay? I don't have to worry about Wi-Fi or Spotify or any of the other Fi's. I just plug in my earbuds and go. And I listen to my tunes. And the other special thing about my Ride Jams last night that I can tell you about is that it was 100% smithereens. Um, in honor of the late, great Pat Denizio passed away two days ago, lead singer, songwriter of the Smithereens. I will expound on what that band means to me as a musician and otherwise elsewheres. Uh, but if you know me, you know that the Smithereens were my freaking heroes, man. And 45-year-old um, me is coping pretty well. 15-year-old uh, me, not so much. I, gotta, I have to soothe that young boy. Uh, with the music, uh, so that's what we're doing. So I imported a bunch of the, of the CDs into the laptop yesterday, and then I connected the iPod to the laptop, and I had all the Smithereens albums on my iPod so I could keep making this motion with my hands. Um, we started on the subway with Smithereens 11. This is the third album. The sound was getting a little bit tougher at this point. Ed Stasium produced this one. Don Dixon pr uh, produced the first two, especially for you and Green Thoughts. Uh, a Girl Like You is the song that you might know of theirs. Uh, that was a pretty big hit, of course. The, the big ones, the big smithereens hits Blood and Roses, of course, uh, and Behind the Wall of Sleep. Um, but A Girl Like You was a big radio hit in, the, in like 90, I think. This album came out in 89. By 90, Girl Like You was was all over the place. Um, Smithereens 11, album number three, recorded at the Capitol Tower, which I believe is, uh, is an artist's rendering of on the cover there. Um, we moved on after that, by we, I mean me, to A Date with the Smithereens. This is 1994, now they're on RCA Victor. Uh, let me tell you something, my friends. This came out at like the peak of the Seattle grunge alternative era. And of all of the stuff that was coming out then, this album still sounds fresh. It does not sound dated. I dare you to put on anything else that was big in 1994 and listen to it today and tell me if it doesn't still sound like 1984, if it just has like 1994 stamped all over it. This thing sounds like it could have been recorded tomorrow. Okay? So all of us Smithereens fans are having the last laugh that their music is holding up about a thousand times better than anything else that was going on around it. So, uh, Point of No Return, standout tracks on this one for me, or Point of No Return, Miles From Nowhere, um, Long Way Back Again, Gotti, the bass playing on Gotti, Bad Assery. That's Mike Massaros, my friends. If you don't know, now you know. That's the cat on bass. Um, so then, and then we moved on to uh, Smithereens 2011. Their first album of new material uh, in a couple of years when it came out in 2011. An obvious nod to their previous uh, 11 album. Um, this is my copy that has been signed by the boys. Uh, at a meet and greet that year, uh, July of that year, it was a cruise of some kind, some sort of rock and roll cruise around the city, and they kicked much ass on stage, as they always did. I've seen them live a bunch of times, and every single time, they handed the audience their ass, because that's what they did. If you're not familiar with the music, it's very simple. Uh, uncut, unfiltered, American rock and roll the way it is supposed to be played. 
okay? These guys stick to their story. Two guitars, bass, and drums, three minutes, four chords, and the truth. That's all you need, folks. Um, go check them out if you don't know. And if you know, I don't need to tell you. Um, so that's the situation with that. Tonight, I'm back in the city. Uh, probably take the train again. Probably bring the iPod again. Uh, probably be more smithereens in my ears again. Um, I'm a couple of minutes away from getting a call uh, from the Hustle podcast uh, where he's going to talk to me about the smithereens uh, and what Pat means to me and all that stuff. I'll expound, like I said, elsewhere is about it. Listen to music, listen to music, listen to music. It's good for you. Rest in peace, Paisan. Love you. See you on the next one. Be well.